My name's Anne and I'm Chair of Governors at a small Church of England primary school um, on the edge of Greater London. Initially I was concerned that the course was going to be too churchy and that I might not be completely comfortable with um, that agenda. I also, you can probably tell from my accent, um, I've had a, an upbringing in a range of countries and I did all my primary schooling in the United States and church and state are completely separate there. So the idea of church schools is one that I've had to grapple with. The course does a great job exploring one's sense of vocation to be a church school governor and um, I personally found that really helpful and I'm hoping I might work with my other governors to help them fulfill that sense of call which must be there for each of them because otherwise they would never have come to be a governor in the first place. So my understanding of church school governance has been enhanced in a whole range of ways really practically and also legally, historically and then personally. Principally, um, I've gained an understanding of the history of church schools in England and the distinction between Catholic schools, Church of England schools, um, and then the other types of church schools as well. I also really benefited from what for me was a refresher course in the core aspects of effective governance. Um, and then particularly because during my time as a governor, I've never experienced either a SIAMS or an Ofsted inspection. I found the sections that dealt with that to be really effective and helpful. Personally, I think I enjoyed our Zoom um, tutor group calls most about the course. I found it really interesting to hear from other governors and also from our tutor. I did the entire course during lockdown due to the pandemic. And so it was my one point of contact with my fellow students. And I just really enjoyed interacting with them and hearing their stories. One of the areas that I found the course to be especially useful was preparation for and just generally thinking about external inspections. And I feel like I'm going to be able to directly apply the knowledge I gained from the course in working with my fellow governors, the teaching on the course about um, school, a school's vision and um, the connection between the vision and its Christian identity and then also the school's strategic priorities was incredibly helpful and I know that that is going to impact our preparation for our SIAMS inspection as well. I also hope through the course to work um, deliberately with my fellow governors to think about their personal and professional development in their role as a governor and I hope that collectively we'll build up our skills and our collaborative relationships, um, our sense of teamwork and a sense of our shared commitment to the school. It's given me a much more rounded view of what effective governance looks like across the board. It helped me to actively engage with questions of how I interact with my head teacher and the senior leadership team of the school. I also actively engaged with questions of how I personally lead my team of governors in the role of chair. I hope also to benefit the London Diocesan Board for Schools. I work for them part time in um, a role to do with governance. And I hope that my growing understanding of what it is to be a school governor and an effective school governor will benefit all the schools that I have a chance to interact with each week, each month and each school year. I'm really, really glad that I did this course and I'm really glad to have met my tutor on the course as well. We've continued to email each other on issues of governance since then. Um, one thing I would say is the course does involve a real time commitment. It's absolutely worth it to engage with all the materials, but don't underestimate the amount of time you might need to spend each week to engage with um, the course materials properly and thoroughly.